interests, especially on the issue of the National Judicial Appointments Commission Act, something that was, you know, passed in Parliament at the time? Yeah. Thank you, Gagi. I need a couple of minutes. Uh, I would like to start this with reading out a small sentence from the Constituent Assembly debate which gave birth to our Constitution on Article 19 on the 2nd December 1948 from the Volume Part 2 by Sri Lakshmi Narayan Sahu, a fiercely debating person, a critic of the Constitution, many points in the Constitution, to Dr. Ambedkar, especially on Article 19 and on the Supreme Court. We have to depend for the interpretation of the particular article and its language that are enumerated herein on the Supreme Court or some other authority that would come into being in the future to ensure that the people's rights are not abridged. Now, coming from there, that is where the Constitution is a living document which has been interpreted in due course of time by the judges appropriately into the political situations of the country to keep the independence of the judiciary. The separation of powers between the judiciary, the executive and the legislature was important. And I would like to recall the, the preamble of the constitution where we say that on this day of 26 November 1951, we hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this constitution, which makes the constitution supreme than the parliament because the constitution is owned by the people of India. The reason why we oppose the NJAC in any, in any point of time, at this point of time with the BJP is that yeah, our experience with the BJP government the is Congress that... Congress did support it earlier, we did but now you are opposing it. We did support it. it at that point of time, but our experiences after that is quite, uh, quite against the spirit of that supporting because the absolute majority of the BJP government is being used to infuse the people of that right-wing thinking into the institutions which corrupts the institutions, independence, neutrality, and the separation of powers of the institution. That is the reason why we don't support the NJAC anymore. However, we agree that you know the collegium system requires a kind of a uh, kind of a improvement or a kind of a interpretation or adapting to the situations or in accordance to the time. But that needs a balanced discussion, a mature discussion, and not a public uh, fight between the judiciary and the government.